for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Easy Mutt. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's good guys, Venom Fire here, back with another video, and today we bring you guys my Gun Tight Flex Offensive Guide. Now, this has been one of the most highly requested videos. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this, and it's because it's a very good formation, but it's very off-meta. You won't see a lot of people doing this. There's obviously a ton of great stock plays and stock rounds. Go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. Go over about three passing plays and then just this one running play. Um, but overall, it's a good, unique scheme. I think it is a lot of fun to run. Uh, so yeah, before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, drop a like if you enjoy this video. About 77% of you guys are not subscribed. So hit that sub button, it's the best way to show support to the channel. We are on the road to 14,000 subscribers. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and hop straight into it. Here's a look at our audibles. We want double spot, halfback draw, cross, and PA post shot. Those are the three passing plays we're going to go over. There's a couple of other honorable mentions with the passing plays, but those are just the three I'm going to talk about. An ability I'd recommend you have is backfield master, but that's really the only ability you need with this offense. It gives you a lot of AP kind of spread around now i also recommend getting gunslinger if you can right now i'm just going to be using the saint so i don't have gunslinger but uh typically i would recommend using that ability but you definitely can use without um but yeah it's pretty much going to be it we're going to start out with the pa post shot play now pa post shots one of the best stock plays in the entire game uh you see we got a deep post uh, almost an intermediate post route, kind of a medium post route. I would pretty much call it a deep crosser with that Y wide receiver. Then you got your drag and your backside crosser with B. So we can take a lot of these routes and kind of build around them. Now just running it stock, uh, which I, is the best way to run it. One of the, not the best way, but it's a good way to run it. Just stock. You see, you got a drag and you can really just, um, geez, that was a terrible read. But uh, as long as you read the field correctly, you can definitely beat some people just running at stock. <laughs> Quick snapping is one of the best ways to run the offense this year. Uh, so you see, whatever reason, that was man coverage, but the wide wide receiver just completely open. But usually the players that will beat man coverage is your drag. Uh, and then that crosser and that post route sometimes does beat man coverage. But uh, against zone, let's run a cover two here. You will see, I just... And usually the only reason I'm showing it against like cover two is because if you come out in the field and you quick snap somebody, they're not going to have a lot of you know um a lot of time to switch their coverages and make adjustments so you would most likely be seeing a stock shell of a cover three or a cover two uh rolling out to the left you see i can get that crosser over the top and there's a lot of space for me but overall stock's probably not the best way to run it uh, you can obviously take advantage of some of the routes a little bit better and that's what we're going to do now the second way to run it is going to be with just your running back on a wheel route so i would just come out here put him on a wheel route and snap the ball uh, you see it's, again, going to give us options the crosser wide open, um, but overall it's going to make your opponent respect the wheel routes. Um, basically, the reason that we throw a running back on a wheel is just so that he has to double flat both sides. So he would have to put a hard flat on the right and a curl flat to defend deeper and underneath, uh, as well as on the left side. So it gives me a chance to maybe throw something quickly uh, over the middle. You see the wheel route is going to be open for about five yards. Um, but yeah, just going to give us options and another quick adjustment to add to the play. Moving on to our next setup, we're going to go ahead and throw A on a streak, our tight end right here. Uh, and then we're going to put the running back on a flat using that backfield master ability. Uh, throw your B wide receiver on a curl, and then we're going to go ahead and put X on a hitch. So here's a look at our setup. We're going to use this little deeper intermediate cross or post route, whatever you want to call it, um, as our deep threat. We have... Cook on a streak, depending on if it's cover two, we can kind of split that coverage. Um, but yeah, backside hitch, always nice with Michael Thomas. And then we got this flat to curl combo. What I'm going to do, motion Sanders out just a step and snap the ball like there. You see, um, that was a bad read, but usually the curl is going to be open. If it's cover two, I believe the flat's open, but I just got confused there. So I'll set it up really quickly again here. Here's a look. You're going to motion Sanders out right about there. And you see against cover three, I'm going to wait, and then I can low ball it. Um, if that's not open deeper, I can always throw that post over the top. So really does give us options with this setup. Again, if nothing's open, I can kind of roll out, get my routes bouncing off, or I can always throw that hitch. So very solid play. It's kind of intended to roll out to the right or slide to the right with your QB. Uh, one more time with the setup. Here's a look at what you're going to go ahead and do. If it's cover two, like I mentioned, I believe 
the route that's open is gonna be our flat, so I go like this, and then I can kind of check down with the flats, the hitch, usually is gonna pull down a zone so I could actually kind of quick read uh, to Y. I'll show it one more time, let's go with cover two. And again, if it's man coverage, you have a couple of routes that'll beat it uh, with your post route and, 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 and pull route, the hitch route can also beat it with like playmaker or something. Um, but yeah, here's cover two, you see, boom, and look at the wide, just get wide open over the top, even with like a, the slowest release ever with Drew Brees right there on the run, we are able to complete it, so that shows how much space we have, but uh, yeah, let's move on to our next setup out of PA post shot, we're going to put our B on a flat, A on a drag, X on a curl, and B on a curl, so here's a look at our setup, um, gives us a little two curl routes, Again, we're going to motion Sanders out, and basically this is similar. We just got A and X on our combo over on this right or this left side. Um, a lot of times with that hitch and the streak, they're kind of useless, so this setup's going to be similar to the one previous, but we're just going to be using our routes a little bit better in my opinion. So we're going to, again, go with this combination, just X on a curl, B on a curl, and then we just put RB on a flat. He's actually already on a drag, so I don't know why I said that, but you can leave him on his drag. And then again, you see I like to motion Sanders over. You see how Michael Thomas does take up space. Uh, even with a late read, I threw that curl route. The flat's open, and depending on the coverage, that post can still be open over the top. Uh, I'll show it one more time, but again, it just gives us options. Because we're in a tight formation, you see that I'm actually in the middle of the hash marks. Uh, that's something that I like to do just because it spreads out the field a little bit if I compress myself to one side of the field It's gonna um, And I already have two receivers on that side It really does prevent or limitate me in what I'm doing with my plays So that's just the reason that I'm on this middle hash, but you can go to whatever hash you like um, Again one more time with this setup X on a curl uh, B on a curl and RB on a flat motion them over just like this and you see I can throw a Y right over the top. I believe I was in cover two right there, but uh, yeah, overall it gives us a nice set of options. Uh, we got one more setup out of the PA post shot. What you're gonna do, throw RB on a flat once again. We're gonna hitch A and then we're just gonna hitch X. So we got the double crossers here. We got a flat route and then we got the two hitches. Uh, just a pretty nice spacing concept in my opinion. You see, even with the shed, I can easily check down to A or X. Uh, mainly what this setup is doing is we're trying to pull down zones so we can either throw something over the middle or to the sidelines with the crossers. Uh, again, here's a look at the setup. X on a hitch, A on a hitch, RB on a flat. Uh, I'm going to try and roll out here and you see the crosser. If he follows him, I can check down to my hitch. I pretty much had both open there, so uh, overall it does a really good job of pulling zones and just opening things up late in the plays. Um, as well as give you options, especially if your opponent's double flatting, you got two hitches, he's not gonna be able to use her uh, really anything with that setup. One more time though, here's a look. Uh, again, you're just gonna snap the ball. This one's with no motion, so it's a little bit better. Uh, you see that post route, able to get open, even with a slow release and on the run. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it for PA post shot. I did spend a lot of time on it, that's because it is the best play in the formation and the entire offense, but moving on, we are gonna, let's hop into the halfback draw. Now this is gonna be the run play that you wanna run. There's also a counter that's pretty decent. Uh, I wish there was an inside zone, unfortunately there's not, but this draw is not terrible. You see, you can definitely pick up a lot of space even with terrible stick. Uh, it's around a 10 yard gain. And really, um, it's a pass heavy formation. You're not gonna run the ball a whole lot, but in the situations that you do, you can definitely pick up some big gains, especially if he's in like a 335 dollar, whatever big dime if he's spreading a lot of people out and you see we just get a pretty good hole up the middle uh, even against a four down lineman defensive formation uh, I can always cut things outside just like this I can spin outside whatever um, but yeah that's a halfback draw I can kind of disguise it by motioning out Sanders like this pulling the zones out a little bit and then I can kind of cut up field and then cut back um, overall it does give us a good set of options and the draw is pretty decent running around five ten times a game and you will be successful um, but again it's not the main focus of the offense let's move into this double spot play so you see we got two corner out stock we got these two spot routes and then we have the backside flat so you don't have to use backfield master for this setup um, but this is going to be again a quick snap type setup what we're going to do first thing is just streak x so this is our first setup just streak x and boom you are good to go uh, you see the corner out's going to be open right there um, and this play is a little bit better if I shift my entire formation. So I'm actually just going to go to a hash mark. 
Uh, certain plays will be better with the running back on the wide side than the short side, but that, again, will take a little bit of practice to recognize. But, uh, again, the setup was streak X, and that's pretty much it. You got a flat to, uh, oh, geez, I don't know what I was saying, but you got a little flat to spot route combo. This corner route can be open. It's a little bit deep in my opinion, but it still does and it still can be successful. You can kind of smart out it to get a little bit shorter, I believe, but uh, overall the corner out against cover three is pretty solid. You see there we get a little bit, weight. we get a lot more space when we smart out it. I'm not sure if it makes too big of a difference, but uh, usually corner outs on the stock short side of cover three are pretty, pretty solid there. Um, another way to run this is to obviously kind of run it vice versa where I would streak B. Uh, I can also kind of smart out A. You see he's pretty deep uh, and that can work if you just leave him there. Uh, also it could be a cover 3 beater. You see how he kind of pulls down. But he's super deep to where that corner out's not really going to be open even though we did catch it. Uh, so what I like to do is also just streak B and then I smart out A. Now when I smart out A he's not going to, he's going to be pretty short. Um, but you see it also creates a cover 3 beater even with a noodle arm. Um, and depending on man coverage, whatever, it can beat those as well. Uh, again, over here on the right side, you see the flat's going to be wide open. It creates the curl flat and cod flats to go upfield. Um, but overall, it's just kind of flipping the play. Um, and you basically decide if you want to run the corner out on the wide side or the short side. And you can go from there. But yeah, it's pretty much it for double spot. There's obviously some other things you could do. Uh, if I wanted to, I could like streak X, smart out Y, drag B, and then smart out A. Something like this, you could go ahead and run. But uh, yeah, the sky's the limit. You can really do whatever you want. I'm just giving you guys a couple of base setups. Uh, and then you guys can go from there, create your own setups or whatever. But yeah, it's going to be it for double spot. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and move into our last play, which will be cross. Just got a quick setup for this. Now, I don't run cross a whole lot. Um, you guys can run it a little bit more if you choose to, but... Uh, you see we got a decent stock crosser with Emmanuel Sanders. If I just run like a base setup, something like this. Uh, you see the crosser will get open on the sidelines. Uh, it's a little bit slow developing, but eventually it gets there. And you see with like a flat route, you can create a decent route combination. Now our first route combo is just going to be pretty basic. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just streak Y and slant X. I can actually run that vice versa. I can streak X and slant Y rather. Uh, and then I like to throw RB on a flat. So here's a look at our setup. You see we got a drag, crosser, flint, slant, and flat. It's a little bit congested in my opinion, so this setup is not exactly my favorite. I just have a lot of routes kind of running in the same area, but you can get things open. Your first read is going to be that backside slant to flat, uh, and then you're going to work your way over to the left side of the field, the crosser late and the drag late. Uh, again, that setup was just Y on a slant, RB on a flat, and X on a streak. Um, again, I can kind of motion Sanders out like a step here if I want to. Uh, obviously, late in the progression, you see B is going to be wide open with our drag route pulling everything down. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the second setup with cross. Um, you're going to streak A, flat X, slant Y, and flat RB, just like this. Uh, again, you're going to snap the ball. I can quickly low ball, ball, expecting a deeper or a shorter crosser from that wide receiver as you see on B. Uh, but now it's a little bit deeper. There's obviously some other stock routes, like the running back route's pretty decent. So if I were to just go with something like this, where, I don't know, maybe I run like an in route and a slant and a flat. Uh, you see how the running back can actually get wide open here in a setup like this. So that's something I could run. I don't know what Kamara was doing, but yeah, there's some other routes you could do. Um, use your imagination, I would say, but... Uh, yeah, here I look at these these I gave you guys these two setups. These are my favorite setups uh, You see the slant route does a good job just to slant to cross or pretty basic combination uh, And you see both those routes were open. So yeah, it's pretty much gonna do it for the Video if you guys enjoyed hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and peace. I'm out of here